and we are here today to film our Eden's Garden haul for you. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And it's Christmas time, so Riker is wearing some adorable Christmas gear. Say hi. Hi, everybody. Yay, Christmas. I'm so cute. But I really just want to go play. Uh, so he's going to go off and play. I've got... <laughs> Anyway, so that's what will be the pounding in the background if he's uh, playing with all this stuff on the ground. And there's his activity table, he's dancing, it's all very entertaining. Okay, so let's talk oils. I recently just got my first Create Your Own set of oils and you get, there's a couple different ways you can buy from Eden's Garden. You can actually go through a whole uh, bunch of listings of different single oils and blends to uh, create your own set. And then they also have some kind of, some pre-made sets, you know, that you can have like the holiday blend set, the health blend, the, you know, there's a whole bunch of different blends that you can buy with pre, you know, ordained uh, oils in them. But I got this one, I think it's $30 for the set of six. And so you don't have choice of every oil that they make, but you do have a lot of variety to choose from. So let's look and see what I got. I think the box is so pretty. Look at that. So cool. All right, so I was very excited when I got this in the mail. I was like, oh my God, it's like Christmas. Well, it actually is like Christmas. Christmas for me. Okay, so the first of my uh, six that I chose for the Creature On Set is Fur Balsam. And I got this because it is Christmas time, if you hadn't guessed already. And I wanted my house to smell like Christmas, uh, which to me means oh, a couple different things. But one is Christmas tree. And uh, fur balsam is a really nice, sort of subtle Christmassy uh, fur scent, which is what most Christmas trees are. And uh, yeah, it's been really nice to diffuse around this time of year. Um, fortunately, we don't have a Christmas tree this year because we're going away for a long time so uh, through Christmas for like 10 days to see our families on the other side of the country. So it didn't really seem like a good idea to get one, oh, which makes me really sad because I miss having a Christmas tree. But this is almost just as good. It's okay though. <laughs> so it's the fur balsam. And then I have an immunity blend. And this is a blend of eucalyptus, frankincense, lemon, rosemary, sweet orange, and tea tree. And this is a really strong immunity uh, mix, which is, you know, coming in handy this time of year. Because like uh, you guys know, everybody in my house is sick. And so I have been using this, um, but still it's been really nice. I've been putting it on my feet, uh, under my socks to try and keep me healthy. Gosh, I hope it works, because uh, I've been sick a lot. Um, so that's immunity. Then I got Anxiety Ease. This is another blend of lemongrass, sweet orange, and ylang ylang. And uh, yeah, this is a nice smelling. You're supposed to you know, be able to sniff it in the middle of your day if you're stressed out. It's supposed to relax you. If you diffuse it, obviously that's gonna um, you know, make your room smell wonderful and comforting and ease your anxiety. And, uh, you know, I'm not a terribly anxious person, but there is just so much going on in my life this year. This is a really crazy year for me. I, and some of it has been kind of stressful with my job and thinking about the future of our family and moving on uh, career stuff. There's just a lot going on on top of working full-time now and taking care of my kid and my husband and my house. So yeah, this is actually coming in, coming in handy. <laughs> uh, so that's a nice blend. They have several different blends for relaxation, uh, stress, anxiety, all that type of stuff. So it's kind of hard to choose from, but I like this one. It's been good so far. Next is Cedarwood. And uh, this is the, I think the, there's two different types. This is the Himalayan Cedarwood. And uh, I really like cedarwood. I got it to put in a face cream and also uh, as a sleep aid because cedarwood is supposed to uh, put you to sleep and give you really, really 
restful sleep, uh, which is something that I've not had any of for over a year now. So uh, I put it a little bit in my temples and a little bit right here before I go to bed. And you know, I've the couple of hours I do sleep in between night wakings have been very nice. So I really enjoy that and it is good for a lot of other stuff, but mostly skin stuff as far as I know. But it's a nice woody, woodsy, outdoorsy scent and that's nice. Next one is another blend called Hope. Um, I actually went into uh, my order wanting to get the blend called Joy because I'd heard amazing things about the Joy blend. But Joy was not available in, in the Pick Your Own Six uh, set, so I got Hope instead, thinking, eh, basically, hopefully doing the same thing, right? It's a mood lifter, stabilizer is supposed to make you feel great and hopeful and happy, um, which who can't use more of that in their life? So it's a blend of cassia, lemongrass, rosemary, sweet orange, and tangerine, and it's kind of earthy and citrusy. And I'll just kind of sniff this or diffuse it when I want to just, you know, maybe get out of a funk, feel a little bit happier. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very nice. And then the last one from my Pick Your Six set is the Rise and Shine Synergy Blend. This is one of their kid-friendly uh, blends. And it is okay for kids two and over. So... That's what it says here. So this is basically just like a pep you up, wake up in the morning, and get get started with your day blend, uh, which is, uh, you know, I can always use that because, uh, like I just said, I have not been sleeping too much lately because Riker's been sick, so yeah, I need, I need this. <laughs> uh, it's a mix of lemon, sweet orange, lime, lavender, cedarwood, spearmint, frankincense, vetiver, and osmanthus. Woo! So yeah, um, I may start, you know, sometime soon here. I haven't used this with Riker yet, but maybe a couple months uh, I can start maybe diffusing it in the mornings when he is uh, waking up to help him get going. I'm um, going to give him a little bit longer before I start using it around him, but yeah, it's a good one. Um, that's the only one of their OK for Kids of mine that I do have, actually. So that is the set of six, and then now here are some of the other rando oils that I have from Eden's Garden. I actually started off with a lemon, that was my first oil, and I got it and I saw all the great stuff that uh, they advertised that's written on all of their bottles that sort of explains their company practices, and uh, I was like, well that's really cool. So it says on the back that the oils are GCMS tested and purity guaranteed. So that's like a, a chromatography is a type of chemical test to make sure that your oils are pure. And uh, uh, it says 10% of all proceeds are donated to charity, which is amazing. Good for them. It's stored in a light and temperature controlled room, which is very important for oils. Uh, and it says no wholesale selling equals amazing prices. True. Uh, direct from our garden to your home. I know they're very conscientious about um, organic growing, um, not using pesticides, anything like that, responsible growing of all the plants that they use in their oils. And then it's women owned and operated. Like, awesome. That's the best. So I saw that and I was like, dang, I like this company already. And then the lemon has just been great. I used, I've actually just about uh, done with it, and I'm going to have to order another one immediately. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I use it in cleaning. I have it in some of my cleaning solutions. I put a drop of it in my water in the morning, and I'm about to make a nighttime facial serum with this in it as well. So, I mean, lemon is just a go-to. You, you gotta have it. And so I liked the lemon a lot, and I was like, oh, I think maybe I'll try some more with this company. So I ordered a couple standalones. Uh, before I decided to go all out with the set of six. And so the standalones I got were Kapai Bud. I got this basically immediately when my husband broke his foot, <laughs> uh, which has happened about three weeks ago now, because Kapai Bud is a very strong pain reliever. 
And it's also an amplifier, so if you put it in a mix with any other oils with pain relieving properties or healing properties, the Kapaiba will actually amplify the power of those other oils. And so I made it into a mix for him to put on his foot to help heal the bones and to help him with um, just the pain, discomfort, anything like that. And I've heard Kapaiba is also really good for teething. Riker is monster teething right now. He just got two molars in the bottom and he has two molars breaking through the top. Fun! <laughs> so yeah, I will dilute this a lot and then put it on his feet before bed. Um, I'm not brave enough to put it in his mouth directly on his gums because I have read very many mixed things about whether or not this is actually safe to put in your kid's mouth. Comment below if you have any like really good info on this because obviously it has to be in a, a really good quality oil. I do trust Eden's Garden to ingest um, for me, but I have never had Riker ingest anything. So some places I've read you should never ever ever do it no matter what. Some places I've read people who say this has been their miracle for teething and they put it, you know, obviously extremely diluted on the gums directly and it's really helped their kid out. So, I don't know. But anyway, I think it does help uh, even just on the feet because I do it before bed and he always sleeps his first stint the best before he wakes up and starts getting a little um, more antsy in the middle of the night. So anyway, this is a really strong oil and a really good one. Uh, and then I got a couple of the smaller uh, five milliliter ones, geranium. I bought this to put in a facial serum too because geranium is supposed to be excellent for your skin. And again, just to review, Jenny has bad skin and so a lot of her oils are trying to do something to help her 35 year old skin not suck. So the geranium is for that. It does not smell the best in my opinion. Like I like the smell of geraniums, the flowers, but this, yeah, the oil, I don't know, it's okay. But no, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, geranium does have other, other properties, uh, but I only use it so far for the skin stuff. So that's that. Got Purify. When we were all sick, I ordered this because, uh, yeah, my house needs purification. Obviously, it is a den of germs and sickness and death. So, yeah, the Purify has been on in the diffuser a lot. Uh, Purify also is good for your skin as well. I think I do have a drop of it in my nighttime moisturizer right now. And this is a good one, and it is just about empty, so time to refill that. And then the very last Eden's Garden that I have right now is the Uplift Blend. And I got this, it's, I mean, for purpose-wise, purpose it's pretty similar to the Hope uh, Blend, but uh, scent-wise, I think I do like this better, actually. And this little bottle doesn't say everything that's in the blend like the big bottles do. But if I remember correctly, uh, I think it is a citrusy one. It's got lemon, maybe lemongrass, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I think it has chamomile, I want to say, rosemary, I could be just completely wrong about that. But it is a nice scent and I'm diffusing it as we speak and my house smells nice and it does make me feel very nice and uplifted. So it's done its job. So anyway, those are all of the oils I have at the moment. I have these guys. And my set of six, and I actually do in the mail right now have a Fighting Five, the Thieves, you know, Eden's Garden brand Thieves, because I just ran out of the other brand I had and I need it because, again, sickness everywhere. So, yeah, I'm going to replace that with an Eden's Garden Thieves, and that's going to be it for now, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed my Eden's Garden haul. Uh, thank you so much. For tuning in and a, I will most likely be ordering another one of these sets sometime shortly because there are still a lot of oils that I would like to try and get my hands on that I don't have yet. So keep tuned because there might be more of these coming up shortly. 
Uh, okay, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you all have a great holidays, and we'll see you next time. Bye.